Welcome to Horror Movies and Beyond, a show about reviewing horror movies for the living to understand the dead. I'm your host, Ivo Trees Littles, and this is Shutterary, where we go behind the screens of Shutter original and exclusive movies. Today, I have a really awesome special guest, Samuel Zimmerman who is the head curator and head of programming at one of the top horror streaming services, Shudder. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having me. It's great <laughs> to be back talking to you. <clears throat> I, I wasn't so sick the last time. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse the voice, everybody. <laughs> the show must go on, though. <laughs> so um, how you been through all this? Uh, good, uh, as good as can be, but mostly pretty great. Um, things are, you know, ever, ever as busy at Shutter. We, we continue to sort of do a lot, uh, do the most we can, um, with a small ambitious team. And it's, it's been really helpful in, in sort of a crazy time that is, uh, wild to say the <laughs> least. Yeah. Yeah, but everyone's good. Family's good. good. So it's been yeah. uh, as good as can be. Yeah, it has been pretty wild. <laughs> yeah. Um, but hey, we're, we're still here. I mean, it's still doing what we can. So that, exactly. that means a lot. <laughs> yeah. um, so you're the head curator and head of programming. Explain yes. what that means for those who may not know. Uh, it means a lot. Um, it's sort of... A, Anything at Shutter, I I touch in some way. Um, I, at the foundation, it means I kind of oversee anything that's coming to Shutter, whether it is a, an older film, a classic, a cult gem, anything in the library, up to and including our exclusives, our originals, uh, our original series, our original films, our original productions, and then really also touching the the material aspect of Shudder, what you see when you come to the homepage, what the collections look like, what the collections are, um, how you interact with the service. So it, it's kind of anything and everything. Oh, that sounds like a lot on your plate. <laughs> and it's, yeah, <laughs> but you know what? I've been here since the beginning, so it's just kind of been a steady add-on. So now I'm used to it all. Oh, okay, now it's autopilot. Yeah, not <laughs> autopilot, but oh, okay. a lot of love goes into it. But, but uh, well, um, I know that too. A little love <laughs> in autopilot. No, I'm just <laughs> um, but I have to say, um, Shutter has really changed over the course of the years. Um, yeah, and and man, it's just mind blowing how much has changed. Uh, the movies, the the, the older movies foreign movies, um, domestic, um, all kinds of nationality movies. I mean, everything you see from all around the world is on Shutter, And that's, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> I, I feel, I, I don't take like my responsibility lightly. I, I really mm -hmm. think that if we're going to be a home for horror and if we're going to be you know, a showcase for horror, we have to be a showcase for everything that the genre can do. So it really, it really is important to me that you can find every facet of the genre on Shudder. You can find really amazing international movies you may not have heard of otherwise. You can find films that have been out of print until now, until maybe they've just been restored thanks to a million different wonderful folks we work with. Um, and then bringing really cool new stuff from voices across an entire spectrum. It, it's significant to me and it's, it's, it's really nice that you say that. I, I appreciate that and there's always <laughs> more work to do, but I appreciate mm -hmm. that hopefully we're living up to that. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between exclusive mm -hmm. and original because people have asked me, because I always, sure. you know, I always introduce the films, that, you know, what they are. But uh, for those who may not know, <laughs> can you give a little bit of explanation of exclusive? Yeah, typically original? it comes down to to sort of a very boring um, kind of contractual aspect. Typically exclusives are films that we we are streaming exclusively, but the only rights we have are streaming. And originals are typically films that we either produced ourselves or we own sort of the entire distribution of, um, you know, we can take it theatrically, we can put it on 
uh, home video and, and transactional VOD. Uh, so originals is more indicative of the scope of our distribution of a film. Oh, okay. Um, do any of the past um, filmmakers, uh, producers or directors make their own films and then they contact Shutter and say, hey, you know, we got this film. Have that ever occurred as well? We hope, I mean, do you mean you mean folks who have made older films or folks yeah, that we've yeah. worked with? Yeah, uh, worked with before. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the hope is that if if we work with a filmmaker, we can always work with them again. We try to we try to build a Shutter family, and we try to really work with folks that we love. Um, you know, one of the really important parts of Shutter is my colleague Emily. She's kind of like my other half, and mm -hmm. you know, she's working with me on the original films. And we don't have a big staff, so it really matters to us that we love the filmmakers we're working with, the voices we're working with. We want to, you know, especially if they're at the beginning of their career and they're making this really incredible film that's their first film, how can we help them build? How can we be a part of all of the amazing things they're going to go on to do? So, yeah, and I think in the next year or so, you're going to hear a lot more about um, folks whose films we've already released and new projects coming from them. So um, does Shudder like produce from the ground up? Like if someone pitch a story to you and have a script or is it something that they're already, we, the, the filmmakers already in process? We do. It, it works a lot of different ways because we put so many movies out. It really can be us buying a film that's already completed. But yeah, we're, we're really starting to get our our sea legs on producing from the ground up. Host, for instance, was a wholly original production. Um, Rob and Jed and Gemma, they really came to us with an idea. And then, you know, we felt we had to be a part of it. And and it it hopped from there. And, and I you know, and a lot of people know Host and a lot of people know Host was kind of a crazy production from, you know, May to <laughs> July releasing on the service. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, then that that was our first really. Oh, wow. And it was amazing. It was very simple and it was amazing. And that yeah. goes to show that you could take a simple concept and just <clears throat> develop it, but it doesn't have to go wild. I mean, you don't have to have, you know, crazy. If you have a story and it's condensed and, you know, you give all the love and passion to it, it can create something and bloom into something wild. And Host was wild. I mean, I remember... <laughs> When that and I can't wait to see more what Shutter does with stuff like that. I mean, from the ground up. There's a lot on the way. I mean, we're we're really proud of Host. We're really proud of VHS 94 and how mm -hmm. that turned out. The filmmakers involved in that. I mean, everyone really brought such incredible talent and and ingenuity to that film. And I I hope in the next year we're really going to wow, like continue to wow people that come to the service. So are there other networks or uh, <clears throat> publications that Shudder work with? Because I, I noticed like, you know, Chainsaw Wars, we have Fangoria. Mm -hmm. And just recently I noticed For the Sake of Vicious, which was Dread Central. So yeah. are, is it just partnership? And because, you know, horror is a small family. It is. And, and yeah, there's a ton of production companies distributors, uh, filmmakers that we work with and work with continuously, you know, for the sake of Vicious was also a part of Epic Pictures who who own Dread. Um, and we work with them a lot. We worked with them on Lucky um, and a few other films. So yeah, I think because we're really lucky, we can be very nimble in how we operate. Um, you know, a film can just come to us for streaming. And, you know, because we have Shutter TV, and it can feel like an event, we could do the Chainsaw Awards. We try we try to keep it loose and keep it fun and work with as many amazing partners as we can. Uh, <clears throat> back to the, the foreign and domestic, um, do you try to keep like a ratio of how many foreign and domestic films like each month that, that you do releases or each year? E not so much, not in any sort of formula or, or mm -hmm. science way. Um, we've noticed a balance of some yeah definitely a healthy balance and we've learned a lot over the years about kind of what people respond to if it's not english language you know the we have a lot of great shutter members who love our international titles but 
English language titles are always going to be the most popular and they're always going to be the most watched. So we've learned a lot about how to how to break through, how to make an international title seem like you have to watch it, you have to see it. And a lot of that comes down to what the film is. Um, so we keep, we have an idea of what the balance is, but it's always evolving. And, and really it comes down to the movie and going, we love that, we have to get it, we have to bring it to you. The medium was like that. I think we all mm -hmm. became obsessed with the medium and just how special and scary of a movie that is. And, you know, I couldn't imagine it going anywhere else. It had to be a, a shutter film. Yes. Um, do you try to keep like a theme, like each, you know, like a season or that, when you come across? <laughs> sometimes. So like we, we always think seasonally or like and, and, mm -hmm. and beyond Halloween and Christmas, I, I always try to think about how are things tying together? What is a collection we can highlight? You know, uh, on January on Shutter, we'll have Woodlands Dark and Days Bewitched, uh, the documentary about folk horror. And so that naturally lends itself to building a really incredible collection of folk horror. So you can watch this documentary and then understand the genre and see all these films that now that you've seen the documentary, you're dying to see. So sometimes it's as simple as that. And then other times it kind of really finds itself in incredible ways. I mean, in February, we're releasing both Hellbender and They Live in the Gray. And they're both directed by families. Um, they Live in the Gray is by a, uh, a pair of brothers named Abel and Burley Bang, who are incredibly talented and really exciting. And Hellbender is by the Adams family who made The Deeper You Dig. And that's just like a sort of nice like kismet that these two films kind of got on our radar and we can release them within a vicinity and you can see the sort of incredible creativity coming out of families working together. Um, and then even early in February, there's a film called Slapface and a film called All the Moons. And both of these films are, are sort of about adolescents meeting monsters and, these, and how these monsters <laughs> help shape their lives. And it, it, <laughs> I do, I try to like build these worlds where things flow in and out of each other or complement each other or set each other up for success. You know, we, we really do, I think a lot of Shutter members know that, you know, Thursday, that's our day. You'll see a new Shutter original, a Shutter exclusive. Mm. And there is another film, right? Like that's the film, that's the film we want you to watch. That's the first thing you're gonna see when you get to Shudder. So we want them all being there for each other in a way and, and, and being actual programming, not just dumping. You know, you don't, you don't want a feeling <laughs> of like, this is just arriving and no one cares about it. You want a feeling mm -hmm. of like, we care about you watching this. We want you to see it. We want you to check it out. And even if you didn't like it, hopefully you get why it's there. Mm -hmm. What is the most challenging thing you face when choosing a film? Rather, someone presented to you, or you're out there looking at, you know, um, old films that need to be mm. vamped. Like, what is the most challenging as a network? Like, oh, I really want this film, but oh, we can't get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I would say, you know, there's a few things. Like, it, sometimes it's just like normal industry competition. You know, there's. There are a million other distributors in the world and mm -hmm. and a lot of them do incredible jobs also with horror movies. So, you know, you have to work hard to say, here's why we believe it's a Shutter film and here's why we believe, you know, you should have a home with us. And sometimes it doesn't work out. Uh, other times it comes down to just capacity, right? You know, we, we release a lot of films, especially ones that are originals and exclusives and that takes a lot of planning and it takes a lot of thinking ahead so sometimes I can really love a movie, but I don't see the space in it. I don't see the space in Shutter's schedule for it. Um, I don't see where it fits. I don't see that we can do it that justice. And so that can be a challenge because that just kind of leaves you like, I wish, but <laughs> it's not going to work out this time. Um, but then you just go, all right, well, now we start looking, what, what does that filmmaker want to do next? <laughs> Okay. Um, do you do you ever like dump all the films? Because I, I feel like <laughs> if <laughs> I mean, if you I, I don't know how how it works there. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if they have like a, you know, a whiteboard and stickies and they have all these films laid out for each month. <laughs> but <laughs> but not why not dump all the films per month? Not why you know, spread them out? Like why, why spread them out where you could just dump each month? Is that too overwhelming or? I, th I feel like it's too overwhelming. I feel like 
it needs to have this space where you can see a film arrive, understand what it is, and maybe make the decision to watch it. I don't, I don't want to put our members in a position where they're just overwhelmed by choice. I really want Shudder to feel like you can find something you want to watch. You can be excited by something. You can understand the context of it. And so, you know, it's important to me that it's not just like, okay, it's the first of the month. Here's 50 films. You should... <laughs> You should go look and go like, okay, what are the handful of films that came up this Monday? Maybe I'll check this out. Maybe I'll wait till next week. Um, I like the selection. I like the curatorial aspect of it. I like the feeling that there's something special there. We want to present these films, not just not just kind of throw them on a buffet table. Because I know you have a team. You know? Yes. Um, even though you're, you're the head, but you, you have a team that you work with. Um, who chooses what film comes out what month? Like, do you guys do it as a... Co oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought maybe like a collective thing, like, hmm, this should come out this month. We and, certainly no, all no, work no, no, together. No, this month. <laughs> <laughs> we all work together. A lot of my job is the, is the scheduling. And I go, you know, here's why I think we want to release this movie on this day or this month, or here's why it feels like this. Um, and then, of course, we all kind of check each other and someone might say, have you considered this aspect of it? Maybe we move it back or move it forward. Um, but largely, I am scheduling out the year. That must be a lot of pressure. Because the, the reason <laughs> I say that, because if I see something and it's like, oh, I can't wait for it to come out and people see it. And you have to wait because you put yeah. it, you know, in March and this is January. <laughs> You're like, ah. yeah. <laughs> um, so has the pandemic affect Shutter in far as like production staff or just like the way you look at films like maybe we shouldn't put this out yet because it deals with this content mm -hmm. or stuff like that especially what's been going on sure on a content level like it's sort of your last example not really what was really interesting at least at the beginning of the pandemic was people were really interested in seeing things that mirrored that situation virus movies outbreak movies even zombie movies you know, we, at the beginning of the pandemic, we even moved up our release of Blood Quantum. Um, we had these bigger plans for it, but we thought that theatrical wasn't going to work out. Everything was shutting down and this felt like a really urgent and timely movie. Let's get it out as soon as possible. And it did really wonderfully for us. So we haven't made it, had felt the need to make any calls about content in that way. Um, We've we've had a lot of folks come to Shutter, a lot of folks be new to Shutter, and we've seen a lot of folks watch a lot. So I think we upped our game in terms of, you know, our weekly releases. You know, pre-pandemic they weren't weekly; they were they were more like twice a month, um, and a lot more really interesting library stuff. I've focused really heavily on trying to bring older films that maybe members haven't seen or haven't seen in some time, just films that haven't been as around, you know, not movies that are jumping from service to service, but we can really say like, this is the first time it's streaming, you know, just mm -hmm. this month we brought Blood for Dracula and Flesh for Frankenstein, the Andy Warhol movies that Paul Morrissey directed and Andy Warhol produced, they've never been streaming before. So I look for mm -hmm. things like that to really say like, here's something exciting to watch, something you've maybe always wanted to see or haven't had the chance. Um, it, it, in a way, you know, I think people have turned to streaming services all over, you know, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus, everyone's watching mm -hmm. a lot. So I think a lot about if you're subscribing to Shudder, what's going to excite you? And I want to up my game to make sure that we're really presenting you with like cool, cool things, you know, see yeah. something you <clears throat> always wanted to see, something you love or something you've never even heard of that's going to blow your mind. Oh, okay. Is there uh, any films out there that I, I don't know if you're allowed to even see, <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a shot. Is okay. there any films out there that you really want that has no one gotten yet? Very old or, you know, you know, probably very old that no one has got, but it's, it's that sticky note that's sitting mm -hmm. there and you're really trying your hardest. And it's just... Oh, hundred percent. There's been a list <laughs> since I got here. Like, Shutter, we launched in... August of 2000, in summer of 2015. And mm -hmm. when I came on, I was like, here are the list of films I want to see on Shutter. 
that are hard to find or, or maybe haven't streamed before, a lot of them have gotten the shutter one way or the other, but there's still a few. Um, yeah. <clears throat> one of them for sure is Alucarda. Alucarda is one of my favorite movies, period. Uh, it's, it's incredible late seventies Mexican horror film. Uh, it's so bloody. Everyone's <laughs> screaming in it all the time. It's just, <laughs> Oh, it's Sound a like my kind winning. of film. <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, if you love movies like Possession or yeah. uh, Let's Scare Jessica to Death, things like that, just really intense um, kind of psychic experiences. Alucarda is that. It exists in a weird state. Um, it's only on DVD from Mondo Macabro, which is a wonderful DVD. Um, I, From what I understand, elements are not really out there it's hard to find original negative i don't even know if it exists anymore so i don't know if we'll see a restoration of the film which can sometimes be important in digitizing it to get it to shutter mm -hmm. but that that's one of my dream movies for sure i would love to see that on shutter i would love to ha have more people have access to that but you know recently we brought a few films that and and just next week actually when the folk horror doc goes up there's two or three films that I've always wanted to see on Shudder that will be coming to Shudder exclusively. Eyes of Fire, which mm. is an American folk horror film from the early 80s. It's absolutely stunning. A really strange kind of warped tale of like, you know, settler pre-America, a lot of spirits um, out in the forest. And Il Demonio, which I would encourage anyone to check out. It's a black and white Italian film from the 60s that is about a persecuted woman in a village who's accused of witchcraft. And it has, A, it's gorgeous. Like it's just gorgeous, sumptuous, black and white, an incredible thriller. But it's also one of those movies where you can see where things came from. Um, at one point, she kind of is under a state of possession or duress or, you know, freaking out and does a backbend like exorcist style. And you go like, oh, I think that's the first time that's ever been kind of in a <laughs> horror movie, right? Oh wow! And you go like, oh, I can see, maybe not that like The Exorcist took it, but this is the first time. And then it went to The Exorcist, and then it of course went to a million possession movies. Um, so Il Demonio is just like a wonderful movie that I'm excited will just be more out there, more accessible. Oh, okay. Do you think Shudder will expand more of their shorts, like short films? I would love to. I, that's one of those things that you know that's also me right like i'm working with filmmakers and saying just saying mm -hmm. like hey i love your short let's bring it to shutter well, unfortunately right now it's one of those things where like there's there's all these priorities there's our exclusives there's our originals mm -hmm. there are the the feature library films uh hopefully one day when i have more brain space i can focus more on shorts. <laughs> but a, <laughs> but a really good thing is that we've been working with uh the etheria film festival and they oh. created a series of all the shorts they've shown. So since November, December, we've been bringing that series and it's each season is like 10 or 11 short films that are all really incredible and have played festivals the last bunch of years and people have really loved. So in that way, we're bringing a lot more shorts to Shudder, but I, I certainly hope to continue. Okay. Now people can request films or yes. send, you know, like, hey, I really love this film. Can you you know, find a way <laughs> to bring it. <laughs> um, how, how can they do that? There's a form that, you know, if you, I, I think somewhere on the Shutter website, it, you can be linked to it. Of course you can tweet at Shutter, you can tweet at me. Um, a lot of the time we're, we're on the same page and I'm so happy to just hear what people want to see and what people are thinking about. Um, so I think there's a few different ways. There is an official form I look mm. at it, of course, but, you know, I would say never hesitate to just like tweet at me and say, I've always wanted to see this or I'm hoping you could find this. OK, uh, well, will we have the Chainsaw Awards this year? Uh, we're talking about hopefully. it. Hopefully. OK, hopefully. hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Um, is it a plan to still do it streaming or maybe? That is a better question for the Fangoria team. OK, well, I, what are you hoping for? Both. I would love, I, I mean, <laughs> of course, we're going to, we're going to hopefully figure it out, you know, one way or the other, but if we could mm. be a home for the awards and, you know, last year was so fun. It was really fun watching everyone yeah. watch it live on Shutter TV. And it really felt like, Hey, we had our own award show. We have our own thing. Um, mm -hmm. 
it was really fun. I had a great time. I dressed up that night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I, I, we were, I remember. We right I was... here. My wife and I were right here just like dressed up. <laughs> drinking cocktails peering on the oars. It was great. <laughs> that that was a lot of fun. I was tweeting. I was like, look at this. It's so funny. It's so fun. It, it, it was a great time. Maybe both. Maybe at an auditorium and, and streaming live for those Absolutely. who maybe don't want to leave the house. But However it can well, work out. I would probably leave the house. If it's somewhere where I could go, I'd be like, I want to go. If it's, <laughs> if it's comfortable, it's safe, and it's a reason to dress yeah. up, I'm there. <laughs> um. Any upcoming, anything that you can hint that Shudder is, is something big, you know, like mm. something like, oh my God, you guys, the summer is going to be lit. <laughs> That's as far as you could go. Well, I mean, I absolutely, I can say that, of course. Like this <laughs> year, um, I will say that every year, my goal is that a year on Shudder is, I like to say, unignorable. Like if you even have an iota of care about the horror genre, you should feel like Shudder is essential. Like that's how, that's what like my job means to me. Um, I don't know mm -hmm. if we're always exceeding, but that's what I want. This year is gonna be nuts. Like there's incredible, incredible work coming to this service. Filmmakers that are gonna blow minds. Um, I will say this is this sort of already been announced, but we've made a new movie with Jennifer Reeder who made Knives and Skin. It's incredible. It's we haven't said when it's coming yet, but it is incredible and it is scary and it is really surprising. And I think it's it's going to be highly talked about in a big way. I'm really, really. She is one of those filmmakers that is just like on another level. <laughs> well, that sounds amazing. And I bet this year is going to be just like it blow your hair right off your head. <laughs> that's that's my dream. That's my hope. Um, there's going to be wild stuff, just, <laughs> well, you yeah, 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 you have to, well, the reason I believe that it's going to be like so amazing, even though I don't know what's going on at the office is shut. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, because people had time to reflect on their lives and their filmmaking and their writing especially yeah. throughout last year. So there was probably so many rewrites, so many things to like, okay, we need to, we need to do this. We need to do that. And so many story ideas that I believe this year, um, it is just going to be one after another, just mind blowing um, films. Um, That's the that were just And there be were a few months where, you know, <laughs> I, I think everything's a little bit back to being weird and scary it feels kind of like the beginning of the pandemic again right now but there mm -hmm. were these months where everyone felt a little bit safer and production could go ahead safely and so we got some stuff done you know there mm -hmm. there were a, a, a handful of films that went in shot did really great work and are now editing so there was some really cool stuff that was able to get made in that time and then we'll see what the the rest of this year holds but we 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 really lucked out in that sense Mm -hmm. And I hope you get a lot of those old <laughs> foreign or domestic films out there. Because I've seen a lot of films when I was younger. I just can't remember the names. But then I would see them pop up. But I can't mm -hmm. remember the name. I'm like looking at it. I'm like, oh, I remember that. <laughs> that's that's what else I'm working on. I'm working very hard. I'm, I've got a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts. We're pushing to bring some stuff um, but if 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 you and, and anyone watching really likes kind of the fascinating international stuff that comes to Shutter, I would really keep an eye out for all the moons, which is going to be on the on the service in February. It is a really terrific, really gorgeous film from Spain, just like an excellent vampire movie. Okay, will there, um, will there be any more animation horror? I hope so. Nothing confirmed right now, but I'm, I hope so. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> uh, rather it's domestic or foreign yes I think we need more animation on Shudder for sure <laughs> that scared me to death I can't remember the name of him but man it was just like <laughs> what's, what's it, it's a whole world it's a whole world I want more absolutely I definitely want more animation <clears throat> I'm it, with it will, I believe it will come, it will come. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that you could say that I have not asked a question about what is about to happen 
Maybe. Possibly, hmm. no. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I can say that, let's say, I'll Shutter's say amazing. You better, it's better get I Shutter. hope so. I hope, it's, <laughs> I hope it's amazing. I try. It's amazing. I want, it. I want people to love it. Um, I will say that 2021 just ended. If you've not caught up with Caveat yet, it's one of my very favorite movies we've ever released. I think it's a major discovery. I would highly recommend you go watch it. It it rules so much. Damian McCarthy, next level. Um, I will say that I think the next couple of months hold some really cool stuff. Please keep an eye out for Hellbender. Hellbender is one of the most magical movies <laughs> of the year. The Adams Family are just like this cool family in upstate New York that are making their own things. It's outside of the sphere of influence. It's not like anything else you'll see it's just like this amazing witch movie um same with they live in the gray uh they live in the gray is one of the scariest movies i've seen recently and that's something i'm always looking for i'm always saying what <laughs> we need scary movies um they live in the gray made me jump out of my skin a little bit well i'll make sure i wear an extra layer of skin <laughs> extra layer, <yeah. laughs> so i don't so i don't just jump out of mine <laughs> double layer <laughs> You'll have like a snowsuit of skin on. You'll be like walking like this. <laughs> hey, if if Leatherface can have another, if share other people faces, I, I can have another layer of skin. Yeah, we can it's only fair. <laughs> I think we can all take a page out of Leatherface's book. Kind of. <laughs> um, but thank you so much. This was amazing, Samuel. I man, Shutter is amazing. If you guys have not subscribed, go do it. Go on there. I don't care if it's whatever device you got to go on there and get it. <laughs> Subscribe to Shutter because they have some amazing stuff coming out. And I cannot thank them enough um, for for what they have done because I dedicated an entire month and a half twice, <laughs> twice, twice over uh, to Shutter. That's how amazing they are. <laughs> and no, thank, thank you, you so much. Oh. <laughs> Um, thank you so I, look I even got it <laughs> see I stepped up my game this year <laughs> you guys step up your game and get shutter I feel like I'll need that I need that in like a long sleeve where it says shutter area on the sleeves you know maybe <laughs> maybe we'll, we'll, we'll talk yeah. <laughs> um, but like I said thank you guys so much for watching and more shutter videos are coming your way. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. And don't forget to get over there and get Shutter Network. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, thank you. <laughs> Bye, Sam. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs>